guys, how's it going today? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to install IAS on a server 2019 and also configure PHP, install PHP my admin and MySQL database. So let's go ahead and start the process. Open up your server manager, go to manage, go to add roles and features, click next, next. Click next. Okay. So we need to find web server IAS. Check mark that. Hit add feature. Hit next. Then we don't need to install anything else. So go ahead and hit next. Then hit next. Usually the defaults here are pretty standard, um, but I need some of these. And, but this is custom for me. You, the defaults are probably good for you, but I'm checking basic authentication because I know I need that. Um, and literally everything else is, let's go ahead and enable the uh, logging tools. Um, yeah, everything else I don't really need, but um, usually the defaults are pretty good for anybody, especially if you're just running like a web website, WordPress, uh, you know, something like that, you'd be fine. So go ahead and hit install. It is adding this feature now. I'll go ahead and pause this because this can take, I don't know, like 15 minutes or less depending on the your server specs. Um, but I'll go ahead and pause this. Well, while we're waiting for this to install, we can go ahead and open up Google Chrome on here. And we can Google, we're going to need a piece of software. So once ISS is done installing, this piece of software will help us so easily install PHP um, and our MySQL database. Um, now there is a different way you can do this. You can install it manually, which is fine. Um, but I'm just doing this for the average person that doesn't know how to do it. And it's just very easy this way. And it's going to be the website platform, um, installer, uh, actually uh, Microsoft website platform installer. Um, it's going to be your first link here. Make sure it's got the Microsoft uh, website link there. Go ahead and click on that and do install this extension. So don't worry, it's not going to install anything. It's going to download it at .msi file. Um, and then we're going to run this once IIS is done installing. And you can see we're still chugging along here. So I'm going to pause it again. But at least you have that uh, MSI file already downloaded. So as soon as we install IIS, we're going to close this out and then run this website platform installer and uh, go ahead and get PHP installed with MySQL installed as well. All right, the service is done installing. We can go ahead and hit close. We can close out of that. We don't need that anymore. Close this out. Now we can go to our downloads folder. Double click on the website platform installer. Wait for that to load. Go ahead and hit I accept, install. Hit yes. Uh, this tool is very, I mean, it's not just for PHP and MySQL. It can be, I think you can even install WordPress with it. I mean, it's pretty, it's automated. It's really nice. Um, you can install .NET frameworks with it. Um, all kinds of things. We'll show you that right now. So go ahead and open up the Microsoft Web Platform install. If you don't see it on this list, then just search for it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. Yes. It's going to take just a second here for this to load up. And then uh, once it loads up, we can go on the search bar and just type in what we want. So I'm going to search for obviously PHP and MySQL. So if you go to products here tab and you can select kind of like the databases, we'll show you SQL, MySQL, um, and everything like that. But we're just going to go to all and search for PHP. And I'm going to sort by release because I want usually the latest. So here we go. PHP 7.4.1. I'm going to hit add. And you can see it automatically added that extension here for us, which is nice. So once that is added, then we're going to search for MySQL. 5.5. Uh, add. And then hit install. And then you're going to have to generate a password. Yep. <laughs> 
Um, so I like just uh, generator. Should be enough. Yeah, sometimes I don't think my school likes all those funky characters. Continue. Then this is just showing you what's going to be installed. Yeah, I accept. And it's as simple as that. It, now it's reaching out to those third party websites, grabbing those packages, downloading them, and then it's going to start the install process and then automatically configure IAS uh, for those packages. And like I said, if you weren't using this, you could do it yourself um, but like I said it is very time consuming and there's a lot more steps to it this is so easy you install the program select what features and packages you want hit install I mean it's so basic um, anyone can do this so while this is downloading and installing this is going to take a little bit um, I'm going to pause here all right while this is still downloading uh, we're going to start doing something while that's going let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome again and we're going to need to install uh, PHP my admin. So uh, it's just web files. So literally Google PHP my admin. We're going to download the latest version here. Um, you should donate. It's a good uh, open source project. So once it's get some downloading, I'm going to open it up here and extract the files. All right, it's done downloading. Show on folder. I'm going to extract all these files. It's going to take a little bit because it is a lot of files. All right, let's see. While we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and <clears throat> check this. Um, looks like it ran into a small error trying to install the manager, which is we don't really need because we don't have multiple versions of PHP, so we don't need that. And then when it's cast extension, don't really need that. So uh, right now, at least, we can get that reinstalled. So let's go ahead and hit finish because we got everything else installed, PHP is installed, and MySQL is installed, so that's good. So finish, exit, and close out of that. And we'll wait for that to finish. In the meantime, we can go ahead and open up Google Chrome again. And we should be able to type uh, localhost. And you can see IS is installed. That gives you a good indicator that everything's good. So we go to our C drive, Internet Pub, then WW root, and we're going to create a new file here, uh, index.ph. Oh, we need to, uh, yep, that's one thing. We don't need to go to view, uh, do file name extensions so we can see the file extension of files and change that to what we want to change it to. So that's PHP. And I also like installing uh, Notepad++ because it's just easier and it's lightweight um, to install so you can edit files and whatnot. But you can use whatever editor you want. Wait for that to pop up here. Yes. Minimize. I mean, you could be using uh, just the Notepad editor, but I'm just going to use this right now. Finish. Close. And we're going to right click and edit. Here we go. All right, so we're going to do to make sure we uh, have PHP installed correctly. We're going to do uh, PHP and then uh, info. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's actually PHP info, I believe. And 
save. We're going to move this file into here, this directory. And then we should be able to access this by doing slash index.php. And there you have it. So you can definitely tell PHP is successfully installed. Um, and it's giving me the PHP version and all the details about it. So you can see that is installed correctly, which is good. So I'm going to delete that because you definitely don't want to keep that on your web server. So we're just waiting for this done. This is almost done. And then can extract these files. So I'm going to rename that. I'm going to do cut. Paste, continue, open the web browser again, new localhost, and slash php my admin. And we should get the php my admin. Yep, and there you have it. So we're going to log in that with that password that we set earlier. Um, and if we get logged in, we know our SQL database is running. There you have it you guys. So it's really not that hard, um, especially when you're using that web platform installer. Um, it's very useful. It gets you up and running very quickly instead of doing it the manual uh, manual way. Um, so now you can go ahead and upload your web files up here. You can deploy WordPress, you know, whatever you might be installing, um, custom script, uh, whatever. But uh, yep, there you have it you guys. Installing uh, PHP my admin with uh, IIS, PHP, and MySQL. Have a good one.